Yo, what's up? This is Tony TBL Bon Jovi, and you're tuning into VI Out on the Pub. And the name's Tony TBL Bon Jovi. I'm a producer, songwriter, engineer, artist, graphic designer. I do a little bit of everything, man. Um, right now, I'm working on a project. It's called Project VI. You're going to pretty much be seeing that real soon. Project VI is my debut album. It's not my solo album, it's my debut album. It's my first production. It's pretty much an album, 16 track album, as well as a 30 minute film documentary covering the entire behind the scenes of the making of the album. Um, the album now is all my beats, is my production, all my engineering done in the studio that I work at with Naeem Mason. Um, it's pretty much just a compilation of all the up and coming artists featured on my beats. And they're just doing their thing on different genres of music. There's R&B, there's pop, there's dancehall, there's rap. There's artists like BV and Drastic, K Victoria, Pressure Bus Pipe, Dread, G Live, Daniela, Titan, Jugga Rock. The list goes on and on. And Culture came through. You wrote a bunch of songs. It's just like a all VI palette, just on one production. But right now, Project VI is still like in the production phase. Like we're almost finished. We're about 85% finished. Um, but when we do finish, we're gonna put it on iTunes. We're gonna put it on Tool Car. You're gonna be able to download it. You're gonna be able to walk into the store and physically purchase a copy of this. It's gonna be a CD DVD combo. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a real deal. Like I want I want people like, in the states, the VI people in the states, to pick up this CD and be like, like what's this? Like this is from home? I, I want people to drop their jaw. I, I want I want to raise the bar in terms of quality and standard and film, audio, everything. I want people to be like, that's not local artists, that's VI artists, that's VI filmmakers. Like Sean, Sean David from Black Oasis, he came through and he, he, he shot the music video and like if you see this video, you're not gonna believe it's a local production. Like we, we want people to have that reaction to everything. We want it to be, we want to raise the bar for the VI. We want the standard to be set now. We want to compete. We want to be competitive in that industry with music and film. Well, okay, the story behind the project, right? The project actually started, like, a lot smaller. Before the studio opened, um, the project was actually a solo project for um, another artist, a friend of mine. And what happened is, like, out of frustration of trying to find studios and trying to find people to record us and mix our music, we, put, we pretty much spent a year and a half accomplishing nothing. Like, we didn't get any tracks done. So, what happened is that um, Naeem Mason and myself, we decided we're gonna open a studio. And when, I op when we open the studio, it's like, we realize that we have a venue where all of these artists can come to one place and I can get them in one spot and I can give them my ideas, I can let them hear the beats. I can pretty much just get them involved. And then the project turned from this small project into like a grander, grander thing. Cause we was filming the whole time. So it's like, okay, we have the footage, we have the means, like why not make this a big project? Like why not make it a project VI? All the people involved are from the VI, it's Syntomia, it's Clusion, it's everybody and it's like, like why not just make it bigger than what it, than what it could have been. And uh, that's what, I mean now it's just, now it's really big, like we have over 16 people on there and it's not just, it's not just like, like music you like, you, you figure we made in our house, like if you hear these tracks, you're not gonna believe like this is people that you see walking down the street, that's from the VI, you, you, you're gonna really second guess and be like wow, like, this is some great music, like, and this is not just me speaking because it's my project, like I mean, like I'm on the tracks. But it's not like me featuring the artist, like the artist, artist featuring me. I'm just like on a versatile hook. I'm kind of doing like the, the Timberland Switch Beats thing. And everybody has heard the tracks. They're like, wow, like this, this is VI people. And I'm like, yeah, like I don't want people to be like, wow. I want people to be like, yeah, that's, that's VI artists. Like that's VI artists, you know what I mean? Well, the genre, uh, people ask me all the time, like, what's my target market? And the thing is that I'm not marketing the, the project as an album only. Because the, the thing is, the approach, we're actually doing a multi-genre album. Like, I made a bunch of different kind of beats. It's not just, like, rap. It's not just R&B. It's not just dancehall. We don't do one type of music here in the Virgin Islands. We do everything. So, I would say more it's a compilation of singles that's going to be marketed more as each single is going to have its own demographic. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to market the pop singles in the pop clubs. I'm going to market the R&B. For you know the ladies, I'm gonna get like the dance house for more like the guys, you know, you wanna be in a club, you wanna bounce or something, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a compilation of singles. And and the videos that we put out are gonna are gonna pretty much portray the market that we wanna that we wanna attack. You know what I'm trying to say? Let me step out of line, switch the V with the I, leave the letters redesign. Can you help me? I'm a little lost and I'm thinking you're dying.
Alright, all the all the project VI is pretty much my baby, like my production, my idea. I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of different people. Um, like for instance, like Culture, Culture the Voice. He's pretty much like, one of the major songwriters in the project. He he's the person that I, I probably like sat down most of the time here with, like just just generating ideas and concepts of tracks and like he, he did a big he did a big portion of the writing aspect of the project. Um, there's Naeem Mason. He he's the guy who who runs the studio with me. So I mean he he's pretty much like my brother in arms. You know like. I, He's like the left, the left hand. You know what I mean? He, he, he's not really had a hand in the project itself, but in terms of maintaining the studio in the business, he's like my business partner. And then there's people like like Kise. Kise is um, a really close friend of mine. Dread. He's the one that's on the tripping up track. He he does some of the graphic design along with me, and he's been a big help in terms of ideas. He's helped me cook and do some of the tracks. There's guys like Kevin Donovan, who's always been there for technical support. Who's always been there for support. Period. People like Dion Brooks. There's Andre from Black Hustle ENT. There's, like the list can go on and on, it, like it's a small group but it's a tight knit group who I can say like I really have been able to depend on and then there's all of the artists of course like the BB and Drastic, the K Victoria, the Jugger, Titan, Payback, Tamisha, um, it's just so many names, G Live, Dread, Daniela, um, Emmanuel, Pressure, Maurice, Shatter, the list can go on and on and on, and it's just like it's just been a pleasure working with like so many different individuals and individual personalities, trying to trying to blend and trying to mesh. Because even though it's it's been great, it's also been a lot of drama. Like when you watch the documentary, you're gonna see like all of like the arguments. Like I don't like this, or I don't like sounding like this, or I don't like that sound, or maybe you can make me look this way, or the video that we will do the treatment for the video. Like also speaking of the video, I cannot forget. Big up to Sean David. Sean Zhu, Black Oasis Creative Group. He's the mastermind behind the music video. He, myself, Dredd, the three of us sat down, we cast up the video. He's one of the he's one of the most like illest guys you can meet out there right now. He's like just if you want to do video, aside from like, you know, Celestino and those other guys, you need to go to Black Oasis, man. Like that's that's the guy to go to for sure. Um it's just been a pleasure, man, like working with all these different individuals and especially because we're all from the same spot. We're all from the VI, we're all from the rock, rock nation, you know what I mean? In the next five years, man, I like to see myself just doing what I want to do and being successful at it. I like to see myself as an established entity in the music industry, like a label, an engineer, a producer, an artist, a performer. And the music is changing so frequently, it's very turbulent. So I mean, I honestly don't know who's going to be who in the next five years. Like, you see people get in and you see people get out. But people I would like to work with right now is like Timbaland, the Neptunes, Kanye West. Swiss Beats, Just Blaze, Polo the Don, like there's some producers I would be really interested in working in and some artists like like Chris Brown, I like the energy he brings, like he's a really good performer and I think that the tracks that he do, they stand out, maybe like a, I don't know man, like I just, I would just like to see myself like really like right now, today, if I could be in Timberland's couch just sitting down or, or the Neptunes, I would just like to sit down and just soak up, you know, everything that I, I can because I feel like Everything is a learning process. I've only been doing this for so long, and it's like I just feel like I've hit a glass ceiling, man. Like I, I can see where I can be, but it's like I can't reach it because I just I keep getting stopped by obstacles, and it's like I think the obstacles are just self-generated. Like I need to just step over them, and I, I don't know. Like in the next five years, man, I just, I just see myself being successful at what I want to do. You know, being a being a being a, being a recognizable name, an entity. Pretty much Project VI, you're gonna see real soon, man. We're actually looking for sponsorship right now. So if you wanna put your name in this as a business and support something bigger than just one person, and it's all VI, call 340-998-7436 and you get me directly and we can definitely do business. There's the Facebook, you can check out Tony TBL Bon Jovi, the MySpace, myspace.com slash TBL Productions, is gonna be a Project VI pretty much. Look up on YouTube, anything TBL Project VI, you're gonna see all the videos, you're gonna see the music video, tripping up's coming out real soon. Um, just just look out for it real soon. It's gonna be on iTunes, it's gonna be in the stores, and it's gonna be great. Yo, this is Tony TBL Bon Jovi, man. Tell you to make sure, go and cop TBL Productions presents Project VI. It's gonna be one of the best albums you've ever heard, period, from the Virgin Islands. All VI talent. Make sure you go and get it, man. It's coming out real soon. Check out the Facebook, check out the MySpace, check out the YouTube. TBL Project VI, Google it. This is Tony TBL Bon Jovi. And you're tuning into VI out and about. But right now, I gotta get back to work, so get out of my studio. And I was like, oh, hi, I mean, hello, no way, I mean, Inside it first, 
first love, I mean love at first sight, scratch that, how about like, cause from the moment I glimpsed, I mean saw, you floored my mouth, wait, dropped my jaw, and like my heart must have skipped a few verses, I mean bars, I mean beats, and you're so down to the concrete, excuse me, can I steal this seat, I mean is this seat taken, got my heartbeat running, I'm racing, 